Well, after a six-month delay, the SEA Games in Hanoi is officially opening tonight. And with one gold medal already in the bag, expectations are high for Team Singapore following strong away showings in the previous two editions. In 2019, our athletes won 167 medals, 53 were gold. And the 2017 Games in Kuala Lumpur remains our best away performance, with 58 gold medals among the 188 medals Singapore got. So, how many medals will Team Singapore bring home from Hanoi? And how many of them will be gold? While Sports administrators declined to set a medal target. The Straits Times believes our athletes have the potential to garner 45 gold medals. With more is sports correspondent Sazali Abdul Aziz, who's in Hanoi. So, Saz, as you know, a chunk of Singapore's gold medals is usually from the pool. But in what other sports can we expect our athletes to medal this time to reach that 45 gold medal projection by the ST Sports team? Yeah, hi Oli. So a, a number of sports uh, are targeting more than one gold medal. Uh, sports that we are traditionally uh, quite successful in, uh, namely table tennis, bowling uh, and shooting. Uh, there are also a few sports we have done uh, very well on the international stage uh, in recent years, namely billiards uh, and pool, which are a few sports, uh, as well as fencing. So we can expect multiple medals from them as well. Um, and with combat sports uh, featuring very heavy at this Hanoi Sea Games, uh, we do expect uh, sports like Jiu-Jitsu, Silat, Wushu to also chip in with, with a, a few gold medals there. In fact, Silat obviously won our first uh, gold medal with uh, Iqbal Abdurrahman in the men's uh, artistic uh, singles. So yeah, I mean, we are, we are very hopeful uh, that, that, that the Team Singapore athletes can uh, do us proud. So you mentioned Iqbal Abdurrahman, now he's a veteran of the SEA Games, but there are 243 Team Singapore debutants at this SEA Games. So Zazali, which rookie could possibly bring home a medal as well? Uh, to be fair, I think a, a lot of them uh, will medal. I think by virtue of actually uh, earning uh, qualifications to the SEA Games, that means they are contenders for medals. Uh, it's just a question of what colour they bring home. Um, and, and, you know, it really depends on, on how uh, their, their performance and preparation goes. Uh, uh, although I have to highlight that uh, I was so happy that our youngest member of our contingent, which is 14-year-old Max Lee, 14, yes, uh, he won a silver medal in the men's 10-meter uh, synchronized uh, platform event. Uh, so, you know, it just shows that we have a, a very bright future ahead for Team Singapore. Well, Suzali, now that you and the team are in Hanoi, you can see how things are being set up. How prepared is the host city for these games coming out of the pandemic? And are the athletes subject to any restrictions? The, the city is, is definitely very welcoming, very motivated to host the game. There are a few teething issues in terms of logistics and, you know, uh, let's just call them flexible scheduling with, with uh, events moving times a, a day before uh, they, they, are, they, are, they are due to take place. But again, this is sort of to be expected, um, first of all, at the Sea Games and secondly, uh, coming out of the pandemic. So, so things like this, uh, we, we, are, we are able to adjust and adapt to. Uh, in terms of whether the athletes are restricted, um, yes, uh, from what we understand, uh, they have uh, 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 an advisory to basically travel from uh, their accommodations to the training and competition venues and back and, and you know, not, no real R&R time. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we have been able to sort of like rock shoulders with them and you know, we even had conversations with uh, a Malaysian a champion, a, a, a freshly minted champion, Shafiq Anak Pute in, in diving as well recently, uh, you know, had a very nice friendly conversation and he even offered us uh, some of his halal food rations. So yeah, it, it's, it's uh, shaping up to be a, a very interesting and, uh, and friendly games indeed. Fantastic. Many thanks to sports correspondent Sazali Abdul Aziz. Now, the sports team will be bringing you all the Team Singapore results from the SEA Games. So keep up to date at StraitsTimes.com or Straits Times Sport on Instagram. Something for us to look forward to, Singapore will host the SEA Games in 2029. Singapore National Olympic Council President Tan Chuan Jin says, quote, The SEA Games holds special memories and experiences for Singapore and our Southeast Asian neighbours, and the camaraderie and rivalry we share are distinct. It was also announced that Malaysia has been selected to host the Games in 2027. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.